Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome to my kitchen. It's corny, corn season. And I'm just sampling the product. So y'all can see I've got corn here to put up and I'm gonna get right to that as soon as I eat me one. This particular air corn is called um, bicolor. You can see on the camera how it's white and yellow represented. And in my opinion, if I have a choice, this is what I would choose to cook and to eat. But people like different flavors and they like different colors of corn. Some people like Silver Queen, which is just a white sweet corn. Some people like yellow and some people like bicolor. As y'all can see, I'm a bicolor girl. Let me stop long enough to tell you how I did it. This corn came fresh out of the field and into the house. So what I do with fresh corn like this is I take it just like you see it here in the shuck with the tassel. I have not shucked it, okay? I haven't even opened up the ends of it. It's already moist. You can feel it in the lee, in the uh, shucks that it's moist. So take you a freezer bag if you want to freeze it and eat it later. Put corn on it. Put your date on it and put you a couple ears of corn right into the freezer just like this, okay? Ziploc freezer bag. I think it came from the Dollar General, okay? Anyway, if I want to eat it right now, fresh out of the field, I'll take it just like this and put it in my microwave for three minutes. Two to three minutes, depends on how your microwave cooks. And then I shuck it, and y'all can see that the silks come right off once it's heated like that. What a treat. I'm just saying. Put me a little butter on that. Mm. Well, there we go. Mm -hmm. Are y'all a typewriter corn eater? Or are you round and round? I don't think there's any wrong way to eat corn. And don't be afraid of that end of it. It's already been cooked. And I just wipe the top of it off with a clean paper towel and I eat it. My boys for years have shucked corn like that while they're pulling it and eating it just like it is without cooking it. Well, that's up to you. But here's what I'll tell you. If you want to freeze corn and save it for later, and you have a big enough freezer, you can do this and you can eat this for a whole year. We've eaten ours for a whole year. Um, I'm not a food expert, so if you're, you know, weirded out by that or whatever you wanna say, look it up, use your own gauge for your own family. But for my family, 31 years of eating corn, we eat it. We're not sick or dead yet, which is good, I guess, for eating corn anyway. Anyway, the other way I wanted to show y'all this is how I used to eat. This is how I used to cook corn. And I still will do it once in a while. Ooh, it just depends. But this ear of corn, let me get a hot thing. This ear of corn, hang on. I shucked it. I put enough water in this old pan of mine and I boiled it for about four minutes. That bad boy is ready to eat. So I'm gonna set this off onto a plate and I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit and I'm gonna enjoy this other ear of bicolor corn. But it matters not the breed. Around here, we like corn. But by far, bicolor is my favorite. And if I'm gonna put any up for my family to enjoy the rest of the year, 
I'm going to put up by color. I hope that, that you enjoyed that. If you want to see more videos like this, you can find me on Facebook at Cooking, Cutting Up, Keeping It Real, which is where you are now, so welcome. Or you can go to YouTube and put in Lisa Cooking, Cutting Up, and Keeping It Real. And there'll be videos both places. Corn, y'all, that's what I'm doing today. Have a good one. See you.